Hello, everyone. My name is Putty Man, and this is my head over life mate, uh, Drew, Camp <laughs> Drew Campbell and Josh Kibble. <laughs> Welcome, guys. If you guys don't understand the joke, I, I we are doing a tier list today, ladies and gentlemen. A tier list for the gentleman by the name of Kevin Smith. So we're going to be talking about all his movies that he's directed, created, and talk about how good and bad they are. So uh, first and foremost, uh, uh, Nikki, if you want to go ahead and uh, 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 you know talk about uh, or do a little promo there, brother. All right. Well, I am a YouTuber myself. If you guys want to check me out, you can. My YouTube channel name is Johnny Donuts Triple Seven. I'm sure Putty will leave a link in the description. Yep, I'll leave a link to all their all their channels in the description below. Also, we have a camp a Campo Crunch again, um, right here uh, mm -hmm. below my camera, which of course is probably going to switch and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, you want to plug away too, sir? Yeah. Hi, my name is Johnny Donuts Triple Seven. Uh, you can find <laughs> all of my stuff in the description below. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So we are again. We are going to be going to a tier list for Kevin Smith. So what we're going to do is we're going to go show you. We're going to go through A to D. We kind of had a little bit of a discussion about how we would do the last tier um but of course we are still going we, we know there's going to be at least one or two movies that we're going to be putting down really really low on the list um but once we get to that we'll get to that so let's go ahead and I'll bring up the tier list now and let's go ahead and get started with the first movie on the list okay so um, um we're not going to do this in any, um, any particular order outside of what's already in the bottom of the screen so we'll start with chasing amy um uh how about this, uh, John? You want to go and take this one? Explain what Chasing Amy is and how you feel about it. It's one it? of his favorite movies, so he probably should. Yeah. Um, it's a movie about Amy, and they're chasing her. No, it's not. Uh, <laughs> it's a movie about two comic book writers, and one of them falls in love with a girl, and it's basically just the movie about their relationship and the way that it builds. I mean, it's yeah. It's isn't it essentially about two buddies that fall in love with the same girl, right? No. No. no, they're not friends. No, no they're friends. Jason but... Lee's character, Bank. I think it's Banksy, right? In yeah, Banksy. Banksy. Yeah. Banky. Banky. Banky doesn't yeah. like Banky doesn't like her because she's getting in the way of their bromance. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yes. And remember, yeah. also she's she's a lesbian, so you well, know. Well, she it, thinks it, she's a lesbian. Well, <laughs> that's kind of that's a new point there. Let's <laughs> not mean, really doing there, John. Very progressive well, of you, okay, John. You want an ex explanation of what the movie is? She's hanging out with the crowd of like liberal people. And like she's believing that, and then she realizes that she loves him. Yeah, essentially, yeah, that's and, exactly what it is. Yeah, but I mean, okay, so she's bisexual, I guess that's the best yeah, way to put so it. Yeah, she is, but she yeah. thinks she's a lesbian, but she's not. <laughs> I mean, if you like a man, the you're not about. a lesbian. No, but that's, that's what, it's what the movie's about. Yeah, it's about yeah, her. Yeah. her not thinking she likes men, but she realizes she does. And then she realizes she does. Yeah. Okay. So but he's not never wrong. Got, but okay, so what would you think, John? As far as a tier. It's probably some of the best writing that Kevin Smith has ever done. Okay, How as about far you, as buddy? Writing, what do you think? Uh, you are correct. It is a really good writing. Um, it definitely is high up there. I, I, I would say maybe high B. Uh, no, I, I'll give it. I, I'll give it an A. I'll give yeah, it well, a. you can move it around after, right? So yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I honestly agree. I love Chasing Amy. It's not one of my favorites, but it's definitely mm -hmm. a really good movie. So I, I would say a high B's, low A's. It, it's the hardest movie of all of the movies mm -hmm. that he's made. Okay, maybe not actually. Of the view <laughs> of the view of universe movies, it's the hardest one to actually explain what's because it, it's it's I'll mostly dialogue. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it has exactly. Quentin Tarantino vibes to it, in my opinion. Yeah. So, all right, um, so, mm -hmm. okay, so we'll move on to the next one, I guess. Then, uh, so the um, next one we have is Jersey Girl. This wasn't part of the View School universe. Um, uh, I guess since uh, we have all kind of sure opinion, do you want to take this one? Nikki? <laughs> um, Jersey Girl is a movie that I've never watched. So, oh, really? I didn't know yeah, you. Okay, no, I so. Haven't. Okay, I so didn't even I, know this movie existed. Putty, why don't really? you explain Jersey Girl? Well, okay, Jersey Girl is about oh my god, Jersey Girl is um, a better version of Jilly. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I love Jersey Girl, <laughs> but um, Jersey Girl basically got Ben Affleck in it, and it's basically about him raising a daughter in Jersey that after his wife dies, and um, and just trying to do what he or talking about wanting to do his dreams, but never succeeding. Um, George Carlin's in it, which is probably the only re good reason this movie has any kind of, um, you know, wealth to it. Um, but in my eyes, a hundred percent Jersey girl would be a D rating for me. Jersey girl was just boring. Um, the only scene I liked in it uh, was um, them doing the, uh, the barber, sh the, the, the play. That was it. That was like the only thing that was particularly. Ron, you got any, um, any, any points with this or you agree? I think that it's not as bad as everyone says it is, but it's not uh, higher than a D. So, <laughs> okay, so I respect that. Okay, next up, Red State. 
Yes, next up we have Red State, and this is part of his other anthology. Um, Nikki, you saw this, right? No, again, I haven't seen any of these. Okay, I didn't even know it, it existed. Yeah. Okay, now Red State actually, so if you're not familiar, Red State is part of a tri- trilogy with uh, Yoga Hosers and Tusk. Oh, which is that's why I haven't podcast. watched it. Okay. Yeah. And okay, so, uh, and actually out of the three, I believe it's the best one. Actually, the thing is Red State, I actually liked. Red State is basically about these um, Bible thumpers that, mm-hmm. that um, uh, uh, end up like um, taking over these kids or kidnapping these kids. And it just becomes, it goes down a rabbit hole. Is it a comedy though? No. no, it's not a comedy. Oh, it's so a very a dark movie. movie. It flew under my radar. It's supposed okay. to yeah. be like. Okay, well, I I would like to say first and foremost, I as Campbell reviews of the RLG two network do not condone Putty's comments saying that it's part of the Tusk universe. Um, because it's not, but I'll allow it. And it's a C, or it's it's either a, a C or it's above Jersey Girl. No, it's Putty? definitely above Jersey Girl. I, I actually liked Red State. I would, for myself, if I was going to do it, I would give it like a low B, actually. I actually enjoyed it. Um, uh, but as far as, you know, it's it's basically because everything else was such a low grade. Like, of course, everything in the View Askew universe is better than it, but I still feel at least it was the first time him going outside that universe, he did something good. Then it goes downhill, so. All right, well, let's get to the downhill ones, I guess. <laughs> Next uh, up, I don't even know the name of this movie, but uh, it's an F. I don't even want to talk Yoga about Hosers. it. This go, yeah, no, I agree. I agree. This I'm, is, I'm, we're like, gonna put this in D, but we're gonna like honorarily say an it's an F. F. Yeah, it's an F. It is the worst freaking Kevin Smith movie ever made, it's and not actually even connects and, 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 and it actually connects a little bit with Tusk, but it's like, ugh, I like, yeah, yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible. Okay. I respect that. Yep. Um, so next up is Tusk. Speaking of Tusk, yeah, so Tusk is better than Yoga Hosers and Jersey Girl in my eyes. Yeah, um, it is. It's still um, a D, probably. Yeah, it'd still be a D, though. But, uh, um, uh, 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 as far as the, like it introduced Yoga Hosers, and I thought that yeah. was gonna be good until I saw Yoga Hosers and realized I need to gouge my eyes out. Tusk was the only one that actually caught my when we were like doing the research to get all these pictures, like it was the only one that actually seemed, seemed interesting to me, but. I don't know. Yeah. Well, actually, the, the, what's his name? I can't think of his name now. Um, the actor that played both in um, a Tusk and in Red State was amazing. And Justin and, Long? No, not Justin Long. Um, the the older guy. Uh, but what's his name? Um, um, the one that actually made him into the the Walrus. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I can't remember his name. Yeah, I, he is a no, fantastic no. actor, and he did a great job in both of those movies. Uh, Tusk visually with the with the actual Walrus looks good. Plot wise, it's just a little bit crazy in my eyes. Basically, okay, mm-hmm. for, no, I'm like, what is Tusk? Basically, it's about this guy by played by Justin Long that gets kidnapped by another guy. I can't think of the guy's name at the moment, and he turns him into a walrus. It sounds so fucking bizarre. Michael Parks. Is. Michael Parks. Thank you. And Michael Parks is amazing in this movie. Uh, Justin Long is okay. It's just it's such a bizarre story that mm-hmm. I don't understand how he even got created, but it's because of the whole podcast and. You know, again, it's part of the yoga hosers in Red State. They say it's part of that trilogy, um, but honestly, so it's... basically that that this whole chapter of his like film career, filmmaking career, was not that good. They were all okay. deep tears. Yeah, this yeah. is uh, basically everything after Clerks Two was just a fall off. I disagree. Yeah. But, okay. but see, but see, Red State, I actually kind of liked. The, 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 I mean, that's not giving it huge pri- high high praise, but I actually I will go back and watch it again. Is what I'm saying. So John is a Jade not... Silent Bob reboot hater, but we'll get to that. Uh, okay, yeah. the next one again is like I'm trying to get these out of the way because this is the last one that I have never watched before. Okay, so there's uh, Jan and Silent Bob's uh, super groovy, uh, 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 super groovy cartoon movie, which is based. No way, Putty froze again. <laughs> it's definitely our internet connection. No, it's not. I know that's what he's gonna. He said that. Remember? I well, I don't I, I don't understand. I'm I'm literally connected by cable. Yeah, it's like... it's just a glitch, probably. Who knows, Putty? Yeah. Whatever, just start start that from the top. Talking about the super groovy movie. Okay, if it does it again, I might have to reset the computer like I did before. Okay, so anyway, uh, next next movie we're going to talk about is the uh, the, the Jay and Silent Bob super groovy cartoon movie, which is basically um, um, using uh, podcast uh, um, uh, audio to actually make a movie. Oh, really? And, That's what it is? Yeah, it's pretty. That much, sounds pretty awesome. Much what it is. Uh, it's actually it, it's it's okay movie. It's not the best. It's definitely D tier. Yeah. It's definitely oh D-tier. really? It's, it it's based on a comic book. Yep. And it's beat for beat exactly what happens in the comic book. Like it's so short and 
Hmm. It's it's word for word. It, okay, it feels like they're literally just reading the comic book. Like it so doesn't when, feel like they made a movie out of it. It just feels so. Where like does this whole podcast thing come in? Um, I would put uh, it lower than Tusk. Uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. Actually, yeah, I would put it lower than Tusk. Tusk for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would put it above Jersey Girl though. I know you like Jersey Girl, John, but I actually like that a little more in Jersey Girl. So. Okay, I'll leave it. It's fine. It doesn't All make right, a now I can finally give some input. Here we go, dude. Okay, Cop so Nikki, is... I'll let you take over for Cop Out. Go and explain Cop Out. I don't remember the plot, to be honest with you. All I know is I liked it. <laughs> well, I'm here for the real movies, guys. Okay, so Cop Out is a movie about two cops. The one guy who doesn't like partners gets paired up with another guy who doesn't like partners, and together they have to be partners, and they capture a guy who doesn't like either one of them, and they both hate him, and all three of them together have to solve the mystery and get the guy's baseball card back so that he can pay oh. off his debts. So it's Lethal Weapon? basically <laughs> <laughs> i like it, this is, this is the point that. of this is the point of his career where bruce willis was taking any money you gave him and not trying at all and really? he's so bad in this movie um tracy morgan carries this movie uh what's his name uh i i like stifler in it mm-hmm. sean william <laughs> scott a lot of people don't seem to like this guy but i think he's hilarious i don't think it's a good movie i would put it also in d whoa Okay. Buddy? Ahead of Tusk. Uh, at C, a, a low C, high D. Um, uh, I would put it above Tusk as well. Um, so I, I agree uh, with the C. Up, I up think it was C. fun. It was yeah. an enjoyable movie. I still think Red State's definitely better than Cop Out for sure, though. All right. So this next movie right here is actually one that I think is going to be should be a little bit better than what we've. This is a this is a two hour movie, a documentary about Dutch rudders. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> this is Zach and Mary makes a porno, and I love saying that name out loud. Um, uh, you know, and 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 also say the line, and you can bleep it out all you want. Let us fuck. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> it's your podcast, bud. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, um, but yeah, basically, um, it's basically these two of uh, two people, uh, Zach and Mary, that are low on their life. They 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 lost electricity, so on and so forth, and they decide to make a porno. <laughs> that was their only option, basically. Yeah, exactly. The only option was to make a porno, and it's a funny movie. If you've not seen it and you're a fan of Kevin Smith. Even though it goes out of the outside the VSQ universe, it's the best one to go. Yeah, and Jay's in it too. So yeah, he's it's a B. It's a B. Yeah, I I I can agree with that. It was such a fun. It was such a good movie. Such a fun movie. So I agree with that. This this is my thing about Zach and Miri. Okay, and same thing with Capo. Like all of the movies that we've have done so far, except for Chasing Amy, none of them have any of the characteristics or feeling of a Kevin Smith movie. And yeah, I feel like that's what hurts that. them. You know, they don't have funny? any of the writing. They don't have any of the mm-hmm. character types. He admitted that when he made this, I just watched something the other day, that he was really in love with Judd Apatow movies. He just watched Superbad and Knocked Up yeah, and 40 Year Old Virgin. And he, he just wanted to make a movie exactly like that. And then yeah. he realized after that, why did I try to copy someone else's movie style? He talks about it in, a, in an interview. Yeah. yeah. I remember the first time watching it. The only like I all I remember is that Jason Mewes was in it, and I didn't even know it was a Kevin Smith movie. I literally had no clue. Neither did I. I saw it in theaters, and I didn't know it was a Kevin Smith movie. Yeah, yeah, I saw in theaters, but I did know. I was actually tracking it and everything. But in the in the commercials for it, like the advertising, it didn't wasn't like a new Kevin Smith movie. Yeah, yeah, same thing with Comp Out too. That's yeah, exactly. That's exactly thing. I didn't know that was a Kevin Smith movie. Well, yeah, so. I, I knew both of them were, and I was expecting a lot out of Cop Out. I was just happy to see Zach and Mary actually turn out better than that. All right, so. all right, all right. Now can we actually get into some good stuff? Okay, this is some amazing I don't even want to talk about this movie. Just There's put no it way. where it belongs. Yes. Just put it where it belongs. There you go. It go. Everyone agrees. S, 100%. If, Nobody if, was you, don't, if you don't understand why we're putting this as an S, we're not even going to say what it's about. Go watch Clerk. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good if you're that's watching, good. If you're watching this tier list... And you've never seen any of these movies. That's always gonna be the starter and the ender, whatever you want to call it. The, the clerks, yeah. Clerks to one. me is a movie that's like Pulp Fiction. I don't think I've ever seen someone say they don't enjoy it. Have you? Yeah. I think I'm it's enough. a pinnacle of '90s filmmaking. It showed what a low budget movie could do, and that it didn't. And take, that vibe, that low it, budget it, vibe, it didn't need frills. It just had to have a really good script. And I think he carried that ability to write a good quality script through all of those first movies, inclu- even including Clerks 2. And yeah. Jane Silent Bob doesn't really have that, but it has the comedy. Mallrats so, does. Yeah, oh, I, I just said you, that. I, yeah, Mallrats, yeah. Mallrats has <laughs> that vibe where it. it's like you could tell this is just shot in like, yeah. you know, one location. So, um, Okay, Clerks 2 is Clark- a high B. Oh, yeah. 
Really? I would say I put it as A. I would say A. I, I would say it's not better than Chasing Amy. In it's my not, opinion, it's it is. Definitely in not my opinion, it is. Amy. Putty, what do you think? Oh, that's it's hard. better than Chasing Amy. Putty, come on. It's, the it's clear, not it's better the than Chasing Amy. It's somewhat, It's not even close do to you that. You want to fuck me? I want to fuck me. <laughs> yeah, but that's just <laughs> derivative stuff that he's pulling from the first one. Oh, uh, like I, I love Clerks too. I really, really love Clerks too. Um, it ties so much with me in Chasing Amy in that well as well but uh, again at the same time just a little bit because of the Jane Saul Bob aspect being in there a little more it does uh, I love it a little more than Chase Amy but just a little yeah, it's you. very minute thank you. Okay, but let's I want this to be clear to everyone watching this it it's is not, not a better, a better movie, movie yeah, than Chase Amy it's it's a fun yeah, movie I'm going to allow it's this funner. because you guys have really stupid opinions about things wow. for some reason okay but John because you're, you're basing me... this on nothing factual just the it's fact f- that you like characters uh, it's funner it's a funner movie no it's That's not all it is. Chasing Amy is a way better movie anyone watching I'm willing to give him Chase Interview because it is better right. story driven to put it like Chase. I, I, I want something. I want something dialogue. If he's gonna get chasing Amy here, no, no. Want okay, give me it back because I'm not giving you that. Go back. I'm <laughs> he de- knows I'm, what I'm, we're I'm, talking about. I'm gonna, I'm Wait. gonna fuck you guys. Oh, I know what I know what you're talking about too, Nikki. And <laughs> Let, him have it. Hung. Let him have it. Okay, Let right. him have it. All right, yeah, but I'm gonna rate it so okay, low that you're not gonna be able to put it out. Don't even talk to me. Dogma is an S tier. Dogma is the second best movie he ever made. Yeah. If you guys don't know what Dogma is, Putty will explain. Yes, Dogma is basically about these two angels that actually, um, um, actually uh, uh, leave heaven or fall from heaven, however you want to look at it, and they want to get back into heaven. So they want to find a loophole to find a way to get to back into heaven. And of course, they find out about Buddy Christ and his uh, the church played by George Carlin. So they find another way to actually get into heaven. Which I don't want to spoil anything. If you haven't seen it, you've got to yeah, go watch it. Stop yeah. there. Yeah, but, but Justin, um, you, get, you have great performances from Alan Rickman. You have mm-hmm. great performances from uh, George Carlin. Jo- George Carlin. You have great performance from uh, Chris <laughs> Rock. You have a great performance from Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, and um, Linda Linda Fiorentino. Now, I will say this: everyone's saying second best movie. For me, it's going to be the third best movie of the Kevin Smith series. But we're not there um, yet, are we? Yeah, no, we're not there yet. My, so my, my number one there. is not there. No. Yeah, it's it's his Don't third favorite. But I, I want to see using what's just... best and what's favorite is what's making this list difficult. It's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there at the end. But I want to invent something right now. I'm going to invent the dogma challenge. I want you guys to watch dogma and then watch no watch little Nikki you and then dogma, watch dogma you can't watch right anywhere. after. Really? Yeah, it's not on any streaming services in the world, and you can't buy. There's no more new copies of it. You can only have. Well, thank God we copies. own copies of it. Yeah. Well, find a copy of Dogma and then watch watch Little Nicky and then watch Dogma and then tell me why after. Let's get on to the next one. <laughs> okay, so the next one uh, is definitely going to be the most. Wait, you should do the first one first before you do the okay, second okay, one okay. of the movie. Good point. Good point. Okay, Jane so- Silent Bob Strike Back unbelievable movie now the problem the problem is is we are getting to a situation now where i feel like i want to start throwing stuff into the s tier too much no but that's and, okay that his, yeah. his, it's like quentin tarantino movie there's going to be a lot of s tiers yeah and see honestly i feel like james on bomb strike back is an s tier to a uh high a tier mm-hmm. i do say it's better than clerks too though I, I would allow. That... I will 100% agree with Putty. It's above Clerks too, but just in terms of the quality of the movie, it's not better than Chasing Amy, and it's not an S tier. Uh, I agree. I know you think I'm not going to agree, but I do. Chasing Amy is definitely a better movie than freaking Jane Silent Bob Strike Back. But Jane Silent Bob is the best comedy writing of any of the movies. Yeah, uh, Will Ferrell. Like, there's so many weird people in that movie that you're like, why does Kevin Smith have Will Ferrell in a movie? What? That's such a weird thing. But it worked, and it was amazing, and the movie was freaking hilarious so here we go we're putting it right there wait do we put it behind clerks no it's better than clerks too okay. yeah i think it's better than clerks too yeah i agree i just that was yeah. all right now this is going to be a i don't like that putty agreed with me on that i'm like kind of upset <laughs> well get ready because putty what do you think about this movie okay so james song about Brebo. i actually enjoyed this it's not better than strike back of course 100 um, percent not. nope um right. but i do feel it should be a high b low mm-hmm. a when mm-hmm. it comes to that Game of and Bob Reboot was an enjoyable movie. If you're a fan of Kevin Smith, uh, you're definitely going to love it. And I don't, I, I know there's some people that didn't like it. <clears throat> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I definitely think it should be like high B, uh, low A. And get ready for a curveball, John. Go ahead. Um, okay. So, first of all, everyone seems to not understand, like I said, what you like and what's good. I like this movie, it's not a good movie. Um, it's a very bad movie. 
it's it's full of nostalgia and I have a good time with it. But I, for to, to make sure that it ends up behind Zack and Miri make a porno, I'm going to give it an F. Oh my God, you're an F. <laughs> because I believe I believe it belongs behind Zach and Miri make a porno. But you, if I say that actually, you guys Buddy, are going to make up some excuse where do you to think put it, it ahead goes? of clerks. Uh, it's not an A tier. Uh, I, I, I said high, a low A, a high B. I, I think it, it's better. I think it's better than Zach and Miri. I wouldn't say oh. it's better. It's on A tier. No way. Okay, so then it's better than Zach. I'll let you put yeah. it ahead of Zach and Miri. What you thought that. we were going to make this an A tier? No, Putty just wanted to make it an A tier. So no, it's not an A tier movie, bro. It's not. It's not. I it's think not even a good movie. It's, not. it's a very bad movie. He, I think he wants it to be an A tier, but it's he knows it's not. There's in no terms way. of caliber, it, how okay. would you put that on the same category as Chasing Amy? Come on, man. There's no way. No I way. He just did that. that. He just said that. No, no. You think, he, you think he would want it to? But he's okay. I with never this. said it was better than Chasing Amy. What the no, hell? But you, you said it. About? If you put it in a class with that, that means it's as good as yeah, that. Yeah, party. That's how the tier list works, right? If you're putting it as an A tier, it's it's a, it's the equivalent. Of chasing Amy, Jane, Silent Bob, and Clerks. Those are like that's what the tier list. Oh, okay. The yeah, order, then leave it. Leave it on B. Then leave the it on order B. that yeah, you're no, putting I didn't, in. I didn't understand. Yeah, the order we're putting it in in those tiers is just basically like I would rather watch this one before this one. Exactly. I got you. So next up, we have probably the one of the best animated series of all time. This is fucking S tier, baby. This is all the way. Crank it up to the max. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I love to do that. I'm so mad it got canceled. I don't know why people didn't like it, but at the same time, I wish it would have been more of a Comedy Central show. You know, let's be real. It's not an S tier. Yeah, I don't think so. I was just thinking, but it's, it's definitely behind, not. Yeah. It's ahead of Jane Silent Bob reboot. Yeah. Wait, no, not no. reboot. Yeah, okay. reboot. Yeah, reboot. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I think it's so ahead of its time. 100%. Um, I think that's a perfect spot for it, to be honest with you. I was just thinking about that. I'm like, wait, are we really saying that it's better than Jay and Silent Bob chasing Amy and Clerks? Like, our Clerks do? There's no way it's okay, better but than Clerks those. animated series, I've watched it. I'm not even lying to you. I've watched times. it like a hundred times. Me too. Me too. The whole oh, series. Uh, it's so, so epic, hard. especially with the little cutscenes of Jay and Silent Bob being the pool cleaners that are pretending that they live in the mansion. Like, um, All right. Here we go. I, Putty's favorite movie of all time. One of the favorite it, movies of all time. Yes. This is my number one Kevin Smith movie. It is Mallrat. Mallrat is um, um, a, um, about a gentleman that uh, that is just a slacker and wants his girlfriend back. And well, two guys that want their girlfriends back. <laughs> um, but uh, they end up going to a mall where um, they run into the legends, Jay and Silent Bob. Uh, of and also Bob. another legend. Yes. Uh, well, first off, we finally get to we finally get to see uh, uh, in this Silent Bob basically as Blunt Man, which you know I, I, I was just an a, a amazing thing, and we get the first cameo ever of Stan Lee in this movie. Mallrats, down, hands down, is my favorite Kevin Smith movie of all time. It has comic books. It has everything. The plot is fun and enjoyable. It's understandable. And it's also one of those things where I feel like it brought a lot of uh, Kevin Smith's humor, his intelligence, and what, what makes him such a greatness, which is being the fanboy that he is. Me being a fanboy, this appealed to me so much. It took what I loved about Clerks and Jane Son and Bob, and in my eyes, made the perfect melding together. And I, 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 honestly, I know people disagree, but that's how I feel. I agree with you 100%. Um, and, if, and if it's S tier for me. If people, <laughs> if, if, if people were to ask me, I just, if people were to, someone was to say to me, hey, look, I've just watched Clerks. I've never watched any other movies. What's the next movie I watch? I would say Mallrats. It's well, so fun. It's canonically second. Well, yeah, no, not yeah. even just because of that reason, but just because it's actually the funnest movie probably out of all of these. Like the adventure you go on with that, with, the, the, with uh, I forget his name through the movie, is so good. And, and a lot of people don't realize if it wasn't for this movie, we may not even be having this tier list right now. And the reason I state that is because they didn't want to pick Jay, Jason Mewes as Jay. They wanted to pick Seth Green. And I feel if they would have picked Seth Green, we wouldn't even be having this conversation right now. We literally would not have a continuation of the James Bond universe because I feel like Kevin Smith wouldn't continue it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's something he created. He created Jay. And this was their time to shine. And Jay, 
knocked it out of the park with this one. Like he pulled off what we now have as Jay and Silent Bob. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if it wasn't for him doing what he did in that movie, it's amazing. And then again, just I mean, like the, the Jason Lee. Like this is the first time we literally get to see Jason Lee in a movie, and then he ends up being um um being like um a fanboy that I admire because it's so weird when you look at it. You're like, why would you admire him? But it's like it's just. He does the stuff I'd want to do or say, you know what I mean? That I mm-hmm. might not do, you know? Okay, so, so yeah, John, me, input. What do you guys think? How the hell are we still talking about this movie? Wow. Okay. So, wait, um, wait, wait. We're right now, Putty's saying it's the best movie. No, I'm not even list. remotely. I, close. I, 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 no, I, put, I, put, I definitely put behind Clerks. I it's, definitely, I, I it's definitely the fourth best movie by Kevin Smith. It doesn't have the best anything. Um, I think the characters in it are important. I think it introduces a lot, but it doesn't have the best dialogue or the best story or the best uh, writing as a whole. It doesn't have the best comedy. Mm-hmm. So, so you're like, saying it's a, it's the, it's after chasing Amy. For it's me, a... it would be after chasing Amy, but I think it's Putty's list, and I'll, I will obviously let him have it in S <laughs> tier. But I don't, I don't in any world think that it's better than Dogma. I don't either. I can't. Like Putty, okay, if you want to. I... I will, I will let you guys have that, even though it is my favorite movie of all time. I will put it behind Dogma just to, to be able to uh, negotiate, okay? Yeah, that's even a good negotiation. I, 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 I would never, I mean, again, in my eyes, if we were to do this list, I would still put it uh, below Clerks, even though it's my favorite, but then put it above Dogma, but I will negotiate on that. That's just, again, keep that in mind, guys. I'm not in any way in my own state saying I feel Dogma is better. I still think Morat's in 100% that. better than Dogma. But yeah, just give to it to fair. him. It's his list. Let him have it ahead of no, Dogma. No, no, no. I, no I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I just want to make sure people are aware that that watch this and go, oh, you don't like it as much. I'm like, no, I... I he likes it more about, than everything. Question, yeah. a, a point. Like, we're basing this list on his best movies, and I'm not basing this on my feelings. Do I love Mallrats? I love Mallrats more than Dogma, 100%. But it's, okay. to me, it's not a better well, movie. Well, then... If that's it's it's that's why when you're so then why are you saying it's putties let him choose no this is us trying to break down what is yeah. s a b c and d it's, and, and it's that's all me, it is to me it would be it would be behind chasing amy and see here's the thing i'm but you also think chasing big. amy would be an uh, s tier no i didn't i said it would be a okay then i'm confused so what would be your s tier movies then john clerks and dogma only Okay. He's saying he would put he put, he put mall rats at A. My perfect I list would be that's clerks, basically what he's saying. My, yes. It would be clerks, dogma, chasing Amy, mall rats, uh, strike back, clerks two, animated series, porno. Then I would reboot. say honestly, this list is solid. I would literally stamp. I this can live with approval. this. I'm not mad about it, but I, I'm not mad either. Again, yeah, this is. I, I think, I think Putty makes very good it. points of why he likes them, and I'm not going to ever disagree with. You can like whatever the hell you want. Yeah, I think right. that's completely fair. I, I like cool. it. This is actually, I think, based on our tier list that we've done in the past and everything, this is probably the most amazing one. Like this is the, the hardest argument of. we've ever had on anything, but also the easiest conclusion that we came <laughs> to. <laughs> yeah, because it's an easy one to make. Like, because even like I, we all agree that well, me and John agree that maybe Mallrat shouldn't be S, but I think but it's we okay also there. agree that the top nine movies there from S to B are all good movies that Very people can movies. watch. Yeah, yeah, like, like definitely, definitely. When you go as S, A, and B, just those six, those nine in general, are movies that we would. Uh, if anybody said, "Is this a good movie?" Yes, it's a good movie. There's no saying I bad mean, at all. But yeah. I would say that people need to know that Yoga Hosers is not a D. It's deep into the F. If there we oh, could no, make a G a, category or a Z, it would be no, no, no. It, it, let's put it this way: if there's Z and then below Z, the abyss of like throw that shit away. That's Yoga Hosers. Yeah, okay. I think we agree on that. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, is there anything else you guys want to add before we end this? Uh, this. Oh uh, yeah. For sure. Uh, before we leave the podcast, I want to say thank you guys for watching, obviously. And if you guys could check out my YouTube channel, hit that sub button. It would mean a lot. I work really hard. So again, my YouTube channel name is Johnny Donuts Triple Seven. That's Johnny well, Donuts. Can I, can I plug myself too? <laughs> yeah, go right ahead, John. Plug guys, I think that. I I just want to let you know that uh, we work really hard all together, and I think that my videos are very good quality. And if you can go over there, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe. It's Johnny Donuts Triple Seven. It'll be in the comment section below. <laughs> 
Awesome. So make sure you guys go check out Johnny Donut 777 and Johnny Donut 777. I'm also going to drop some links for some other channels in there that I think you guys might be interested in as well. Make sure you guys check those out as well. And then also one more link to Johnny Donut 777. Make sure you guys check that out as well. And I want to thank you all for watching. As always, I am Putty Man with Gamer Potheads. And do not forget, roll all die score. Peace out. Peace, peace, peace. Later.